underlying energy for this reading is um, a stable offer. Pages all about are about messages, and pentacles are about stability. Um, so, as you see here, it's someone um, offering love. Or, I'm sorry, offering some st stable begin some something stable. Uh, it could be a job offer, but since it's a love reading, I'm going to say this is definitely something regarding love because underneath that as well, you have the Queen of Cups. So she kept sliding, like he kept sliding off um, when I was trying, when I was, I lifted, it up, lifted it up. So I'm like, okay, so this is definitely regarding something that has something to do with love. So the Queen of Cups is also someone that's a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, um, but the characteristic is someone that's loving, a lover. Just nurturing, very good with her emotions. Very, right? and when I mean that, she is, um, she's good at um, controlling them and expressing them. She's very affectionate and she's very emotionally driven, but she's also intuitive and um, uses her instincts more so. So, with that said, with the underlying energy, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the heart of your reading. This gets interesting, guys, because it's unexpected unexpected so the heart of your reading is something unexpected happening and it's crossed by the ace of swords so a new idea a new perspective but it also could be the truth somebody coming away the truth so the truth could be coming out or this new unexpected new um unexpected um beginning could have happening could have happened i think it could be the truth though that some truth came out um even though aces are beginnings so I speak of truth um, and honesty. So it could be, so it could be an unexpected new, new idea or new perspective that you guys just received, or it could just you guys something in regards to the truth unexpectedly coming out. Um, you have the nine of wands in your foundation. So this is basically you guys. This is some tiredness. So it's you guys feeling worn out. You guys could be working really hard and feeling exhausted or this relationship that you guys are in or your love lives are being are quite exhausting okay in your present though you have the hermit so this is going off on your own to find answers within yourself so searching pretty much i like to say um this is a very spiritual card from what my mentor always says so this is basically looking into yourself for the answers and for guidance and taking time out for yourself to understand yourself a little bit better. So that's probably what you guys are off, uh, off doing right now. Um, but um, but your future says it's going to either have a pentacle, that's a Taurus, or a Capricorn as well, someone moving very slow, or you could be moving very slow and very, you know, planning your moves out cautiously, carefully. Um, you're being very meticulous in the future. Or you could just be moving very slow, all in general as well. Because pentacles are slow moving energies. Um, or it could just be that there's a slow, there's a slow future coming up ahead. And your crowning energy, this is uh, the queen of pentacles. So you guys probably have to be more grounded as far as your work, or you have to, or um, what you're dealing with is somebody that's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this seems like, um, I think this is what it is. This is probably what you want. Um, someone that's a partner, someone that's your partner, or, um, and this could be a female or a male. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be either or. But if it's a personal reading, it does depend, it does kind of have a little bit more, um, weight if, um, if it's personal. But, could be dealing with somebody that's your queen, or you could have to possibly need to be more organized, um, more grounded, um, and that's probably what you want. You want to be that. You want to be yourself. <clears throat> and your feelings, though, you have the Seven of Cups. So perhaps you're feeling like you're in an illusion, or things are too good to be true at the moment. You feel like everything in your world is too good, too good to be true. It's a fantasy. Or this could feel like you have a lot of options on the plate. Okay. In your outside factors, you have the Eight of Wands, and this speaks of messages. So you guys could be getting some messages in, some some, some communication is definitely kind of going really fast, like instant messaging. Um, or this could be the arrows of love, so you could be hit with the arrows of love. 
It could definitely happen. Or uh, things are just moving pretty fast in your environment right now. Uh, what you're hoping for is the Ace of Cups. So you're hoping for some new love, guys. That's great. Or perhaps you're hoping for emotional growth. If you're single and you're not looking for a relationship, this could be you're seeking emotional growth. But for those of you that are seeking this for um, love readings and stuff and for love, this is you guys looking for love or you guys are hoping for the, for new love. In your outcome, you have the page of wands. So there's some news going on right now. So this is the summarized love reading. This is all about news. All about receiving or giving out news. It could be, could be you maybe sending those messages or, or sending that news, or it could be you receiving that news. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify this meaning here. Let's clarify this this um this spread here. Huh. So the six of wands. So maybe it's unexpected recognition. Maybe you'll recognize for something. Or perhaps you have some unexpected victory. Something victorious happening and you're and you're and as a pro as a problem. I don't know. It's the heart of the reading has something to do with something unexpected happening and the six of six of wands, which means which means victory or being recognized. Huh. Pull my card for that. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. The Ace of Swords. So this is definitely victory. So an unexpected victory, possibly? Or victory happening in an unexpected time? Wonderful. That's really awesome, guys. Congratulations, guys. Um, what is this? What is, what is, why is it crossed by the Ace of Swords? What is that? Or maybe there's some victory. Huh. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe you haven't received victory because there's some truth missing. Clarify the ace. Sorry. Clarify the ace. Sorry. Clarify the ace. Sorry. Clarify the ace. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Clarify the ace. Sorry. Clarify the ace. Sorry. Clarify the ace. Sorry. Huh. Messages. This unexpected um this unexpected event that could be having something to do with new ideas. Um and it's also leading to some victory or recognition. Uh it's crossed by the ace of swords, cutting away the truth or being being honest, truthfulness, um um in messages. That is so interesting. Hmm. So maybe what's keeping you from that victory is an unexpected message of truth. That could be it. Alright, where's the nine of wands in your feeling in your foundation? Nine of wands in the foundation. Okay, news, page, page of wands. So this is about some sort of exhausting news. Or perhaps this is regarding some, uh, some news that you got that makes you want to feel like you want to give up, but it's exhausting um, or tiresome. This could be also a spark of excitement or lack thereof. I think this is a lot about communication here, so I think this is news that that came in and now you're it, it having something to do with exhaustion. You're feeling beaten up. What it is the hermit in the present. Judgment. So something coming back from something coming back, rising up from the ashes and second chance. Something renewing itself. Um so the hermit 
the impression could have something to do with some sort of situation coming back and forth. Maybe you guys are going back to to take you know take some time out for yourself to figure out some things. Some things. Huh. Interesting. But maybe because there's a situation happening again or something coming back up that um that you have taken the time out to yourself okay what is the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles someone slow in regards to playing for the future this is also playing for the future with people, with someone else. So this could be someone. So this could be being slow, uh, taking your time, playing things out with your partner. If you guys are single, if you, if you guys are uh, in a relationship, if you guys are single, this is about playing, taking the, taking some slow time to, um, and meticulously planning things out for your future. All right. What is the crowning energy? The Queen of Pentacles. What is the Queen of Pentacles in the Crown Energy? What is the Queen of Pentacles in the Crown Energy? What is the Queen of Pentacles in the Crown Energy? What is the Queen of Pentacles? Oh. Wowzers. So, the Queen of Pentacles is definitely having to do with somebody. Somebody that's helping you plan for the future. Um. I think so, or she's a friend, or someone that you've seen as a friend anyway. Someone that has something to do with community. And then the the Ace of Pentacles here has something to do with um, a new beginning from a solid foundation. So maybe you're planning a f solid foundation with this person. Um, are you looking for a community to move to or be a part of? Or she's a friend that you're wanting to move in with. That she, or he or she's a friend that you're wanting to move in with. That you perhaps will have, have feelings. Um, and you're wanting to start a new beginning. Um, hmm. Okay. In your feelings, you have the five of pentacles. So, to, so maybe you're feeling left out in the cold. Having hardly any support right now. Um, and that's interesting because in your crowning energy, the Queen of Pentacles, ah, the Queen of Pentacles could be someone that is, that is supportive, that is either supportive and open to the new beginning, or it could be you. Um, what you want, um, and how you get to what you want is by being the Queen of Pentacles, someone that's playing for the future, or someone that's ready for that stable beginning and, you know, willing to give out support. And someone that has support and ready to give it to the support because the three of cups can also mean can also mean support is a support group as well because they're friends or there's a group of people there so if one falls they'll catch the other that's how i like to see it so you're not feeling like you have support right now and it feels like you're stuck in fantasy possibly if things are still in limbo, or you have to make, or you feel like you have a lot of options, but you don't have much support, or you don't have a lot of help, or you're not seeing, any, or you're not, you're not accepting any help either. Um, in your outside factors, you have the six of six of swords to clarify the eight of wands. So it has something to do with travel. This this messaging has something to do with traveling. Hmm. Um, or maybe it has something to do with because traveling it's like it's also like the hermit as well where it's kind of you go and you find the, inf the answers and, and, and stuff within yourself it's also a kind of sad mournful kind of thing because mournful kind of card because because um, you see nobody's happy about leaving or moving um away it's just some it's a, it can also be something kind of spiritual as well but it's not necessarily a happy thing that they're doing so it could be that um it could be that um but um could you guys could be you could be discussing traveling at this time 
or something that requires you to look within yourself or to take a uh, take a, some time to travel within yourself to get some information. Or maybe you are off. Maybe you're off looking for answers within yourself. Sorry, the car just pretty much exploded all over me, so I had to pick them all up. What is the Ace of Cups in the Hopes and Fears? Ace of Cups in the Hopes and Fears. Ace of Cups. Oh. Interesting. You got three cards that came up face up in this whole thing. Like, all right then. So it has something to do with. Oof, you got three cards. Gee whiz. You have the two of wands here. <clears throat> two of wands. Find figuring out which way to go. T taking a direction. Picking a direction to take your path. Uh, well, picking your path in which. Regarding um, a direction you would like to go into. So back to planning for the future. So some, so a new love where you can, you, you have to pick your path, plan, plan, figure out where you're wanting to go. Eight of swords. Probably, hopefully nothing that consumes you, that consumes your thoughts, that doesn't take over, doesn't make you, you know, doesn't make you kind of, um, Overthink things, maybe. Um, and you feeling loved up. The King of Cups could be you guys, or in regards to again, someone that's in your life that um, that's a Scorpio, Pisces, a Cancer. So this could be that person. It could be a new love with this person. Or someone that's really uh, controls their feelings, but also very affectionate, romantic, and loving. So maybe that's what you guys want. So, so figuring out which way to go. Hope uh, not like uh, feeling stuck within your thoughts. Um, and feeling loved up. So you maybe don't want to feel stuck in your thoughts, but you want to be loved up, and you you want to have this. You want to have this new love that takes you on a different on some sort of path. That leads you on some sort of path that you have to choose with that person, maybe. Huh. That's interesting. And your outcome. What do we have for your outcome here? Let's go ahead and clear that. Clarify that. There's a card missing. Stage cups, stage cups. Aha. Uh -huh. So the news in regards to the King of Pentacles. This is this is talking about a definitely. I see a um, match, a, a soulmate connection, or someone in regards in, to a, of a relationship. So if you guys are single, this is talking about someone that's in your life already, or someone that's coming into your life. Um, so he's going to be bringing that news it's in regards to someone, there's someone that is a soulmate. Um, cause there's two suits, there's a suit in this whole reading. I would say there's two suits because underneath your, um, your underlying energy, you had the queen of soot cups. So you have two suits, so someone that's very much attached to you or someone that's very, definitely a soulmate. Um, but these are clearly in the same spread. So this is he's talking about soulmate. So this is probably news in regards to soulmate. So to summarize your whole reading here, if I can, you see, of course I can. Uh, um, oh, and this is about contemplating an offer right now. So the four of cups. So maybe you're contemplating an offer, or maybe you're not seeing what's in front of you. You're just focusing on what's missing, or you're, you're, it's more of the same. Things just kind of, you know, it's the same offer given to you, and you just don't know what to do with it. Huh. Or you could be feeling stuck. Wow, is that the tower? Right underneath the tower, you had um, you had this. You had the chariot, so things with balance, regarding balance, and then you had the tower that slid out. A lot of unexpected and radical change here, guys. So perhaps there's some radical change in where you enrich. You saw um, there was some victory, a recognition, 
involved or some clear communication um, and recognition. So maybe someone unexpectedly um, took notice to you or took, like, you know, noticed you or something and spoke spoke truth or some sort and um and now that like the because because what's crossing you is that truth and messages flying very fast oof i don't think that hmm that could possibly resonate with some people but hmm. so interesting this whole thing is so interesting So, the tower is unexpected radical change. And it has something to do with victory. Victory. And honest speaking. Speaking your truth. Or this is some new ideas. Some unexpected new ideas to get you to that victory. Or a new perspective to help get you to that, to that, um, to that victory. And it kind of happened unexpectedly. And then what's crossing you is that new idea. And the idea is coming at you very fast on communication. Um, like clear and blunt com clear communication um, coming at you very fast. Or communication in general. Um, so communication is what's... Uh, is, is involving is involved in that radical change then in your foundation you have some news it's kind of it's, it's like exhausting it's like exhausting news or maybe a new project but you're kind of tired or maybe you're tired based off of a new project that you started and there's some some passion that was driven and it's kind of Kind of it getting exhausting um huh right now you're taking some time out to yourself because it feels like a situation or maybe there's a situation that came back again because you have two change cards in here um uh, yeah you know it's just judgment is rise ashes um phoenix rising from the ashes things to, uh, renewing itself you could be um you, you could be taking some time out to yourself right now because things are coming back up again. So maybe these messages and these messages is in regards to the past and that's why you're taking a step back. Oof. Um, in your in the future though, you're slowly and meticulously planning for the future, whether it be by yourself or for yourself um, or with someone. Um, in your crowning energy, um, your crowning energy, you have the queen of pentacles. So that means um, so basically, like, you want to be yourself or, you're, or this is involving someone that you, you know, that you work together. She's like, he or she is a support and it has a stable beginning in it. Um, how you how you feel, though, is a little bit, conf maybe you have a lot of options on your plate. Things are seeming to, to be a little bit too good to be true. You feel like something's too good to be true. Or you feel like there's some illusions going on right now. That thing's very, um, like, it doesn't, like, you feel like you're in fantasy land and you don't have much support. You feel kind of left out in the cold at the moment as well. Um, but in the outside factors, it has something to do with, like, maybe there's a distance. Um, maybe this is long distance communication. So this is possibly having to do with someone that's long distance. Um... Because you have the Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords, it's not just travel, it's about distances as well. So it could be that that's going on in your environment. So you're talking to somebody that's overseas, someone that's far away from you, or you're, talk, or you're getting communication in regards to, it's in regards to moving, or so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Uh, in your hopes and fears, though, you hope for new love. Um, in regards to figuring out what your uh, figure out what path you're willing, what you're wanting to take, and you're not getting you know too um, tr feeling that too trapped in your thoughts, too many thoughts coming into your brain, so it's not too overwhelming and it's not like 
it's not burning some or maybe it's like something that doesn't um make you feel like you're kind of like drowning in your thoughts um and you want to feel loved up so so you want to be a lover that doesn't overthink that has a direction maybe you that you have some clue that you hope you can figure out where to wait which path to take that's a really hard one um but overall in this whole reading um this news is have something to be has something in regards to your partner or wanting to be that person that's very stable um or some or something this news is, is in regards to your other half someone that you see very dear to you if you're single uh, if you're in a relationship this is something in regards to someone that you um you you know or someone that you love um i pulled some oracle cards for you guys first card for you is the romance angels so this is stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and then your wisdom oracle card is the orphan is orphaned so i'm going to go ahead and read that for you now and that number is five um I'm going to read the relationship message and then the essential, first the essential meanings. A sense of loss and identity crisis, um, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. As you, sh This is the relationship message, relationship message. As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for um, support but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve um perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you're not sharing that you don't share the same values and beliefs so you just feel left out unable to get into that intimate place of safety and belonging Take heart as spirit knows you the spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are without um, artifice artifice or um, agenda. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth it's sorry, it won't be worth the price. Huh. So this could be a lot of identity issues as well, guys. Maybe it's something about you that you hadn't recognized. And it's about how you communicate. Um, and that's why everything is kind of it was speaking as you know, like communication or having new ideas and is coming out through messages. And that's why way you're taking time out to yourself. And because it's a, it's a reoccurring issue. It's about how you deal with something or how you handle something or how you speak about something. It could be about that. And your love life is taking a huge factor maybe or maybe it's about someone how someone else communicates 